Welcome back to another School of Blog hot take about a hot story currently in the news. Now, throughout 2021, with all of its NFT mania, one brand has risen to the challenge of uniting the world of streetwear, blockchain, and gamer culture. That brand is Artifact, RTFKT. Now, to call it an NFT brand is almost to do a disservice, for this is a next generation metaverse blue chip in waiting. And in this episode, we're going to explore why this is and why the Clone X drop is the most hotly anticipated drop of the entire year. But before we go any further, don't forget to ping that subscribe button, drop us a like if that's what floats your jam sandwich. And now, let us get down to business. So listen, if you were connected to this space in any meaningful way the last 12 months, you will have been exposed to the mania around PFPs or profile pics, 2D avatars with magical membership properties, some of which made it all the way to Sotheby's, Christie's, even all the way to Visa. Many believed this was a bubble with a horrible splat of a finale on the horizon, but the sector has refused to die, drawing in more and more known faces like Mike Tyson, Stephen Curry, Steve Harvey, Logan Paul, and Banks from the FaZe Esports team. And what that list should tell you is that these avatars are now firmly embedded in culture. Many are skeptical of PFEs, but if you think of them as a form of social signaling, you're in the right kind of place. It's like a Rolex or a nice car, Lambo maybe, but crucially, they also allow owners to express their allegiance to a particular set of ideas or philosophies whilst simultaneously expressing their individuality because there are 10,000 of them or however many, and they're all unique. And that's all well and good, but the scope of these PFPs is currently limited. What I'm seeing right now is the mashing together of gaming, sneaker culture, sports, art, music, and fashion into one chaotic, immersive, entertainment proposition that I guess we can loosely call the metaverse. And it's at that intersection of all these rich spaces that Artifact calls home. But let's take a step back. Artifact was created by three amigos who joined forces at the start of the pandemic, inspired by the idea of reimagining the future of fashion, sneakers, and identity, placing a huge emphasis, however, on the creators themselves. Benoit, Pagotto, Chris Lee, and Steven Vasilev are the bright sparks behind the project, and they formally supplied game concepts and designs to game companies and fashion brands. They combine high-level 3D animation across more traditional platforms like Cinema 4D, but increasingly they're using Unreal Engine. And there's also NFTs and augmented reality, but you can collect and own physical items as well. And the response to Artifact has been immense. The ferocious Artifact sneaker NFT collaboration drop generated $3 million, selling out their virtual sneaker editions at $3,000, at $5,000, and $10,000 for sneakers. There was also another massive drop with the legendary Jeff Staple, but along the way, there have also been just insane one-off creations like the Cyber Sneaker. And yes, they made a real version of this one too. Want to try the sneakers on on Snapchat? Yep, you can do that too. See, the thing is, while we can imagine a metaverse like the one in Ready Player One, thanks, Mr. Spielberg, the reality is that most of us are not going to be spending extended periods of time in one, or well, not yet, anyway. Artifact's clear market advantage lies in understanding what the in-between phase looks like. Social signaling made easy thanks to Snapchat. Fashion with a near-zero carbon footprint, this makes sense. Now, if you want a physical shoe, there are limited forging windows, and NFTs can only be redeemed once, but this doesn't diminish their value once you have done so. Artifact continues to work to add value to long-time owners and collectors with additional privileges like early access to drops. But the drops, the artist collabs, the meaningful partnerships with industry minnows, Epic Games, well, that was just a precursor to the most ambitious project so far, one with a gazillion attributes, gorgeous textures, and a metaverse-ready character you, me, anyone can jump into and get metaversing straight away. Because, like I said, the metaverse is where digital fashion takes flight. Now, I suspect Artifact probably weren't originally thinking about PFPs, but following the success of Board Ape Yacht Club, in hindsight, it was inevitable. And the result? 
is Clone X, codename Akira. Now, Artifact have been teasing the designs of Clone X for months now, and the manga roots are clear. But so too is the level of detail that has gone into the design work. And this is a feature of all artifact drops, all the way from Metapitance of the punk shoes. There are rumors of an extended world for Clone X owners to play in, because let's face it, people need utility. They need to be able to just get up and go. Now, every day we sit here at our desks thinking about cameras and lenses and how to turn our ideas into visual entertainment. And every day we become more and more aware that our future is going to be digital, that location scouting is actually going to be browsing the Unreal Marketplace, that I'm going to be spending most of my time inside a motion capture suit, puppeteering my various digital avatars to the extent that maybe this meat sack version of myself will cease to be important anymore and I will simply become Clone X. PFPs, profile pic collections, they are amazing things. They create tribes, they create a sense of belonging, and they create their own internal culture. But it's quite hard to get them to travel successfully from one platform or metaverse to another. And this is why Artifact designed their own one. One built from the ground up to be your digital identity in the metaverse, and one leveraging the heft and clout of Artifact's already legendary reputation. By comparison, this is like Supreme dropping an NFT collection. It's just got that legitimacy about it. There will be 20,000 of them, half of which will only be made available to owners of previous Artifact NFTs and at a pretty good price too. And while these, of course, will be nice items to host in your wallet, the real fun comes when you can create your own value in the asset yourself. So we're just beginning to see this idea of superstar PFPs creating meaningful value that sets them apart or raises them above the intrinsic statistical rarity of the asset itself. Jenkins the Valley, for instance, has been signed by CAA, and UTA has just signed up star NFT collector OXB1. So talent agencies are starting to take note, and the talent is you and your avatar, which is wild. So once you embrace the idea that the physical limitations of IRL are no longer important, and that the Travis Scott concert in Fortnite might have been the most important music event of lockdown, then you're beginning to think the right way. The metaverse is sold as a place but really, it's a state of mind, and it requires you to flick a simple switch in your mind, one with two states, yes or no. The metaverse is a yes culture. Yes, you can. Yes, that's possible. Yes, I want to do it. The meat space is a no culture. I know where I'd rather be. Artifact is often compared to Supreme, but there is one big difference. Artifact is inclusive. This is a brand uniquely forged in the fires of blockchain, but there is room for everyone. The community is the thing. And that's not just platitudes. Go hang in their Discord, ask questions, get involved. Their legacy drops might be too expensive, probably will be too expensive for you. But CloneX is the first step in opening up the Artifact universe to everyone. And you have a chance to see it now. Personally, I can't wait to start piloting a CloneX from the metaverse, bringing these stories to you from the true frontier of what's happening here, not perpetuating the same tired mechanisms of Web2. Design, culture, identity, and value. This is Artifact's lifeblood. And if the recent Mechaverse drop is anything to go by, this world is ready and extremely hungry for it. You've been watching School of Block, presented by Ledger and The Defiant. Demystifying decentralization one block at a time. Don't forget to subscribe, drop us a like if that's what you're into. And as always, here's to your financial freedom. Bye.